believes is home to the largest barrier reef in the Western Hemisphere. Coral reefs are notoriously vulnerable to climate change, so Belize has taken the radical step of permanently banning oil exploration in its waters, a move that will protect the reef and its wildlife. Nadia Boud is a marine scientist and a climate change adaptation specialist at the World Wildlife Fund. She joins us now from Belize City. Hi, Nadia. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, could you just tell us why is this reef so valuable? Oh, our, our reef for marine environment um, is very valuable to the country. It's one of the main economic generators for Belize. For example, when uh, a couple of years back, we did an, an economic analysis to look at the, um, the economic benefits being provided by our reefs. And it was found to provide them to Belize, Belize's economy, um, including the, G the GDP, up to 500 million per year. And that was in, in 2009. So currently, it's even more than that. So it's very important, not only from a biodiversity viewpoint, but also from an economic viewpoint as well and provide so many jobs, uh, up to 190,000 Belizeans are, di are directly dependent on our reefs. So I'm guessing you kind of answered why the government was so willing. Now, the name of the bill is a bit complicated. It's the Petroleum Operations Offshore Zone Monitorium 2017 bill, um, because the thinking is that few governments would agree to um, foregoing the potential for oil exploration in their waters, regardless of the environmental harm. Yeah, the, the, the thing is, um, many governments see oil as a, as a way to make um, significant in, um, um, economic generation for their country. And, and, and so we applaud Belize. Uh, it, it's been a long time coming because we've been asking for this. The, the public and the conservation community has been asking for this uh, for quite some years. Um, when, we keep, when it came to light that there were um, petroleum uh, operation license, licenses issued for different companies. And, and so when we heard about that in 2010, um, we got together and we were very vocal um, in expressing our concerns you know, for, uh, for the potential threat this could cause. And so we continued um, you know, advocacy and dialogue, dialoguing directly with the government. We are very pleased to know that we now have this law in place, which, put, which pretty much put that um, uh, pretty much squash um, any idea of, of any potential offshore oil exploration within our, or exploitation within our marine environment. Um, it's an indefinite moratorium, um, um, but it's at least a law that is in place that wasn't there before. And Nadia, finally, um, climate change is affecting um, Caribbean waters or ocean waters in the Caribbean and Latin America. What impact do you think this particular law in Belize could have for their neighbors in Latin America and the Caribbean? We are, we are hoping that other countries, countries will think about following Belize's um, path. No? Um, this is a bold move for our country. Um, we, of course, is, you know, Belize is a developing country. Um, we, we have a struggling economy as well. But the prime minister has made this bold move because he realizes you know, that oil and water pretty much does not mix and it's not something that would be economic, economically feasible for the long term, no? And it doesn't make any sense for, um, for us to put at risk the other services that we are getting from our marine environment for the idea that there could be any, be any potential oil exploration there. For example, tourism is a major economic generator for the country. So we are hoping that our other neighboring countries uh, will follow suit. Mexico is is already in um, in line with what we have um, we have done because they have also put a moratorium for their um, Caribbean, for their Yucatan coast area. So there so so there's no oil um, activity that's going to be happening there. So we're hoping that our other neighbors within Central America and the Caribbean will follow suit and South America, of course. Yes. And Thank you so it. much for chatting yes. with us. So we've been talking to Nadia Boud. She is a marine psych scientist and the climate change adaptation specialist at the World Wildlife Fund. And with that, we're going to a break. So 